everybody Ann here just sitting here on my porch having coffee with all of you and yes it's a beautiful sunny day today I mean there's a few clouds up in the sky but they're not too bad anyhow yeah I took the day off yesterday from filming and it was really nice but I didn't sit around and do nothing so let me show you a few of the things that I did the first thing I did is I took out the second row of beans because they were just overpowering the carrots that are just trying really super hard to grow and they weren't getting any sun so yep there's still like a uh, two beans in each spot in some of them but um, I gave some of them to Mr. Lucas I think I gave him about six plants and then I planted the rest down by the street aren't they lovely and I left two in most of the spots because it said you could do that on the instructions and I got tired of how long my tomatoes were taking to, you know, really take hold and start growing. So I bought a bunch of tomato plants. Yes, you probably think I planted them too close, but uh, I think they'll be fine. I'll make sure that they all get nourished and whatnot. And then I transplanted, I think this is a butternut squash from over, over there. And I don't know if you can see... But Mr. Lucas gave me some more onions, and I went ahead and just planted a few here. Uh, yeah, I read that they, they do okay with tomatoes. Um, you're supposed to keep them away from beans, but hopefully they're far enough away. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Zucchini's doing okay. This bed of Brussels sprouts is not doing as good, but I don't know. That's okay. I've got plenty of Brussels sprouts growing in this bed, and they're doing just fine. And then those are the spaghetti squash. And I think I transplanted a spaghetti squash down there. So let's talk about what I did over there. Uh, and the watermelon, I mean, it's just not growing as good as the other stuff. So over here, I planted some more onions, a whole bunch of onions, and these spread. So, and then you guys already knew that I had transplanted the little green peppers. I think there were five and then I planted in three more spots. One, two, three. Uh, the, not the giant red macaroni. Um, the sweet red cubanelles and uh, I'll probably have to thin those out because there's two in each spot. Um, I think that there, I think that that may be a butternut squash plant. I can't remember. I should have written it down. And another squash plant. I just put them on the end so they could sprawl down this way. And then I transplanted some, see those? Some uh, sweet banana peppers over here. So this is going to be sweet peppers, sweet banana peppers, green peppers, red cubanelles, which are all sweet, um, onions, a couple more squash plants. Um, See, look at how good these Brussels sprouts are doing. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe those over there got damaged because I didn't cover them up good enough that one night. But, um, yep, this is it. This is my garden. My garden is officially in. I don't think that I'm going to be planting anything more. Uh, so let's just hope and pray that it grows. The next thing I have to do is put up some fencing um, all around this spot so that critters can't get in so I haven't decided what I'm going to use yet but it's going to be cheap um, but it's going to be effective so hopefully I won't have any critters until then so let's see what else did I do who am I kidding I didn't do anything else <laughs> well actually I did go into town and I got Mr. Lucas uh, six pack of his favorite beverage but above and beyond that I just kind of relaxed looked around my property and chilled out so today I've got some stuff I got to do I'm seriously considering relocating many, if not all of the buckets from over by the house out to this garden area. That way I will only have to fence in really one area except for the little, well, here, let me show you. Right now this area gets a lot of good sun, but it isn't like this all day long. And um, I am thinking, well, of course, I'm not going to be able to move these raised beds. They're going to have to stay here. But I am thinking of taking, oh, a big mumble bee. Uh, I am thinking of taking all of these buckets down to the street because, I mean, it's, it's still sunny down there. Well, the clouds are coming through right now. 
but it is still sunny down there and it's been sunny since 7 so 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. that's almost five hours and it's going to stay steady, uh, sunny down there for an another couple hours and then when the sun crosses over the top of these trees and gets to up there it's very high in the sky so it'll be sunny there again sorry about that so I think I'm going to move all those buckets down to the street and I'm also going to get some cardboard and put it down, you know, like in the path so weeds don't come on up in between and so that I won't have to worry about weeding that area. So that's going to be my project for today. Oh my goodness. Let's get started. my beautiful down by the street garden yep there is what is that uh, sweet green peppers yep green bell peppers that's Japanese eggplant and then this bucket here is I think those are sweet banana peppers yep sweet banana peppers and then across from that is the sweet red Cuban L peppers first time growing them and this one if you remember is the potato bucket the store-bought potatoes that started chitting cut them up put them in there and that's just a bucket of dirt that I'm going to use to hill them up those are carrots and those are jalapeno peppers so I've got these all down here and hopefully the weeds will you know stay at bay just in that one little part now I've got to fence this whole area in with some kind of fencing don't know what it's going to be yet but uh, I'm going to have to put something up because I have a feeling there's critters that's going to, you know, come out and eat this. But, <clears throat> and I don't want them to do that. But this area here, I've left this kind of open and kind of wide because if you remember, I planted vining sprawling plants on, you know, the side of these long raised beds. So I want to give them plenty of room to come down and spread, you know, in this area and on the ends. But there it is. There is my beautiful garden down by the street. I know I'm going to have to haul water, but that's okay. All I've got left up here by the tiny house is this big blue bin. I'm going to leave it here. This uh, basil is trying to grow. It's got a couple tomato plants in it. I know you can't see them. And then these are, these are tomatoes too. If any of them grow big enough, I'm going to, you know, grow it up here right up against the tiny house. And so this is all that's staying up here. Basically, this is going to be it. Because once I get my new solar panels, they're probably going to go in this area. And uh, they need to be a little bit closer back to the house so when Betty is walking around on her lead, she will not tip them over. <laughs> Anyhow, what's next? I was hungry, so I made some lunch. All this is, and the recipe for it is in my cooking and fermenting playlist. It's just black bean and sweet corn salsa or relish or salad, whatever you want to call it. A can of black beans drained, can of sweet corn drained, um, some green onions chopped up put in there, uh, some jalapeno peppers, half a small jar of jalapeno peppers, salt, pepper, cumin, and some lime juice, um, sweet little red, orange, yellow peppers. Anyway, it's really good. Just stir it up, let the let it sit for a little bit so all the flavors can combine and you can put it on anything. I put it just in a soft taco sort of a deal and it was absolutely delicious. While I was having my lunch, guess who came? UPS and FedEx, so you know what I gotta do. Well, I did open them all and I got some great things, but the portion of me just opening them is like nine minutes long and this video is already over 10 minutes so I am going to include what I got in the next video so I know I know that's awful isn't it anyhow that's all I got for you today see you in the next video thanks for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one